Guys, what's the crack? This is just a quick video. If you understood this, you'd have a totally different opinion on Bitcoin. So why don't you try and share this with your no-coiner friends, okay? And I'm just going to tell you a quick little story. Quick in, quick uh, introduction. Hi, my name is Dini from Bitcoin with Dini. We're Ireland's first Bitcoin consulting company. And for the last four years, we've helped people to understand Bitcoin and to use Bitcoin so they can retire early. Because everything you know about Bitcoin is incorrect and everything you know about money is incorrect. And the irony is, we never actually cho chose to learn about money. So we actually know nothing about money, which is quite ironic because it influences every single decision of our life. So if you understood this, you'd have a really different opinion on Bitcoin. And I'm just going to tell you a quick little story. Uh, I was applying for my uh, motorcycle racing license uh, there oh, this week. And uh, our first practice session is on Sunday in, uh, in Gormanstown for motocross. And the club have been putting up posts and there's been a lot of arguments going on in the thread of the posts about the cost, how much it's now costing for you to do a practice day, never mind to do a race day. Like a race day now looks like it's going to be 100 quid per class. So potentially 200 euros per class. Like I remember entering races, okay, not motocross. Motocross used to be way cheaper. I remember entering Mondello, okay, or road races and paying 25 pounds sterling. For a day of racing, for three races, a qualifying session, and maybe two practice sessions, or two races, a qualifying session, okay? So what's happening is, everyone's arguing with each other. It's your fault, it's your fault. Nobody realises what the politicians and the European Central Bank have done to your money. Because if you realise this, you'd realise you've no choice, okay? You've no choice but to spend as much time as you can learning about Bitcoin as fast as you can, because the only thing that can protect you. So while we're all fighting and arguing with each other that the butcher is greedy or the bar the barber is greedy because he put up their prices or the um, motocross club is, is greedy because they've put up their prices. That's not the case. What the European Central Bank done with the help of politicians is they printed trillions. OK, they stole your purchasing power. Every single euro that you've got savings in. OK, they extracted all the value out of it and they moved it to themselves. Now, I'm not going to go into the mechanics of how they do that, okay, in this video, because it'll take me a little bit longer, and I have to go over and see my parents, all right? But there's a lot of you here who follow this channel and understand the mechanics of how they done that, how they stole your money. And the average person on the street has no idea. They're just like, why is, why is life so hard now? Why am I just about keeping my head above water? And here's the thing. If you're living at your means right now, and you're just about keeping your head above water, and you're not saving any money anymore because you're living at your means, which tens of thousands of families, possibly hundreds of thousands of families in Ireland, okay, and millions or billions around the world are doing this, okay, this may come as a bit of bad news, but you are screwed, okay, because this only gets worse, it never gets better, it never has get be got better, and it never will get better, you find me a picture of a shopping cart that has more stuff in it, in a five-year epoch, it's always less stuff, for 20 euros, the cart was full, less, 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 now it's a basket, Okay, now you don't even bother going shopping with 20 euros because you can only get about two or three things. Okay, so it's good you don't have a choice but to literally fire all your attention into Bitcoin because the only thing that can save you. And if you wait, okay, the ship is sinking. The ship is literally going down. There's water all around us, okay? And uh, the band might be still playing. It's like the Titanic. Many people, okay, like me and all our clients for the last four years, we're all on the lifeboats. We're gone, okay? We're off the ship. The ship is going down and tens of thousands of people in this country are going to go down with the ship, okay? The European Central Bank printed trillions. They devalued every single piece of savings that you have and you're blaming the company, the barber, the butcher, the motocross club because they all put up their prices. Your money was devalued by 50% over the last five years. 50%, okay? There's no amount of earning you can do to survive that, all right? And when the money starts to fall apart, society starts to fall apart. We're only at the very beginning. Have a look at somewhere like Venezuela, who are way ahead of us, and see how society is functioning there. It's a mess. All fiat currencies go to zero. As central banks print money, what that does is it means they have to print more money. Okay? And that's why we've done it in 08. And that's why we've done it in 2020. And that's why the only option is, is to issue more debt. Keep the Ponzi rolling. That's the irony. People think Bitcoin's a Ponzi. Study the thing. Read a book. Okay. The euro is a massive Ponzi scheme. That's why your euro buys you less stuff all the time. Because it always relies on creating more euros just to keep the Ponzi rolling. Share this message 
because most, most normal people have no idea that any of this stuff exists. And they just think they're going to work harder. Or they think they're going to go to a politician and the politician's going to solve their problem. The politician caused the problem. The politician will only make the problem worse. Your only solution, okay, and I'm being candid with you, but sometimes you need to speak candidly to people, okay? Your only solution is to take responsibility and fix it for yourself. There's millions of us around the world who've done that. We studied Bitcoin. We put the time into it, okay? We didn't get lucky. And that same opportunity, as I believe, is available for every other person. Because one by one, everyone's going to have to get on this life raft. But, unfortunately, for a lot of people, there's not going to be any boats left by the time they realise that they should have, would have, could have done this five years ago. Or when they've seen this video in 2024. Or whenever they've seen my videos. So figure out how money works, guys. Because this only gets worse. And you can solve the problem. That's the beauty of it. You have a massive asymmetric opportunity. We've been front-running institutions. Okay? Bitcoin Medina, we've been front-running institutions for four years. We've taught people how to do this. Some of our clients are retired early. Some of our clients have zero money troubles. Many of our clients have no worries about the future anymore. And then there's mainstream people out there who are all fighting among themselves, thinking it's them who caused the problem. The money, your money is broken. Okay? Money has three characteristics. And the most important characteristic of money is store value over time your money doesn't store value over time you're using broken money there's a better money it's called bitcoin figure it out <laughs> guys have a super day sorry to come with bad news but it's not got bad news though because you have a massive opportunity okay you have such an asymmetric opportunity do the work on bitcoin there's not a single person i know has done work on bitcoin and it didn't change their life in a positive way okay and i know there's more interesting things to do or I know you're just about keeping your head above water because you're working two jobs, getting your kids here, there and everywhere, looking after your elderly parents and trying to keep a career on the go. And I'm sorry, but it's only going to get harder. So unless you fix the problem, eventually you're just going to run into the brick wall or you're going to be on that ship when it sinks because it's going down. Let's have a good day though, for now. <laughs> get yourself a Bitcoin book. I would recommend a book called Why Bitcoin uh, by an Irish guy called Chris McLaughlin. You literally read it in one sitting. And it'll make you realize that everything you thought about, you knew about money is wrong and everything you thought you knew about Bitcoin is wrong. You'll understand the solution. You won't understand everything. But you'll be closer to the finish line than you are now. Most people don't know where the finish line is. At least you'll know where it is. And you can move towards it. Guys, have a super day. Please share this video. Get it into the hands of no-coiners because uh, they need to absorb this stuff. Dinny out.